In this video, we present Facet Streams, a hybrid interactive surface for collocated collaborative search. In our scenario, a group of students wants to find a hotel for spending their vacation together. Obviously, they all have quite different interests, making this a challenging task. The Facet Stream technique allows the group to explore an information space of available hotels together on a tabletop computer. All hotels are arranged in a grid on a zoomable canvas. By placing a token on the screen, a new translucent layer appears above the canvas. The canvas freezes and its colors are dimmed. Virtual elements around the token allow the user to specify a facet such as the country. Let's look at this in detail. The virtual elements around the token show the currently active facet and according value. Touching the hotel stars label expands the facet wheel, which shows all the facets in which the information space can be sliced. By lifting the finger, the selection is confirmed and the facet wheel fades out. By touching the outer label around the token, the corresponding value wheel expands, which then allows the user to specify the desirable price per night. In the next step, we can now stream the filtered data by grabbing one of the handles around the token. All persons around the surface can act simultaneously and freely rearrange the spatial layout without destroying the connections or streams. Here, one guy places his own individual token on the tabletop and selects the features facet. He definitely prefers a hotel with the bar and the pool. He then combines his selection with the others by directing a stream on an existing token. Tokens can be placed within a stream to connect them to the prior tokens with a boolean-like end operation. It is also possible to connect the stream directly to another stream. Thereby, they are merged with the boolean-like OR operation. For example, one might be satisfied with hotels that have either 4 or 5 stars or very good user rating by the visitors of a hotel rating website. So these two streams can be joined and from then on filtered together. At any time, the networks on the tabletop serve as a visual map that makes personal and group criteria and their logical relations physically graspable. Two major benefits of facet streams are the low viscosity of the interface and the rapid visual feedback that allows the progressive evaluation of each interaction. For example, the thickness of each stream is mapped by a logarithmic function to the number of items it corresponds to. Zero hits are highlighted in red. Lifting a token also does not destroy the network, but connects the neighbors directly, preserving the basic structure and connection types. Streams can easily be erased by a crossing out touch gesture or grabbed and redirected to another token. All feedback mechanisms are updated in real time. Our group of students has continued to build up their network and the girl would like to see which hotels are actually in her current stream. An additional result token provides this direct coupling to the underlying zoomable canvas. As soon as the token is placed on any of the streams, the underlying information space is filtered accordingly. The user can then see the number of remaining hotels and browse through them without disturbing the other users. They can continue to modify their filters as they like. At some point, the group might want to explore their shared results together. They therefore direct all their streams to a shared token. Placing the result token on the outgoing stream and touching the browse button now unfreezes the canvas again and lifts the visual layer. It is now possible to freely zoom and pan on the canvas using common multi-touch gestures and explore the remaining hotels. Semantic zooming is used to offer more details on the fly and additional functionality. In our case, the group quickly finds a hotel that not only matches all their objective criteria, but also sustains the important visual test of the accompanying image material.